Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. My video title, you know what this video is about. We got some NFL news going on. Um, as you guys know, training camp, well training camp for some teams start next week. Uh, a little bit next week like that. I know um, the Ravens on the 13th. Uh, I think another to be the Cardinals is on the, the Cardinals on the 23rd. Okay, Ravens on the 13th, Bills on the 16th. So some teams are starting to go ahead next. I think most of them, I think it's about two weeks you'll see where everybody getting to uh, their training camp and stuff like that. But um, next week, We'll, um, we'll see the Ravens getting theirs first, so I um, might have some stuff talking about theirs and talking about the um, Bills as well, like that, talking about their stuff. And so we start to see people get more into you know, training camp and see what happens and see what the, the shape up a little bit. As you guys know, this season is very promising. Um, and I thought the season is, I feel like it's still a lot of, of course, the Chiefs, of course, favorite um, being the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, being the back-to-back -back champions, of course, um, with Patrick Mahomes and those guys. But I think that it's kind of wide open. If you look, kind of look at it a little bit, it's wide open. Um, for a lot of teams, especially in the NFC, to go out there and shine. And in the AFC, you know, you see the Texans, the way they got better, the, um, the Ravens, the Steelers, adds the people on, um, the Bengals, the Joe Burrow come back healthy. You look at, um, of course, the Browns. You look at all the different teams that's um, in the AFC, and then, of course, the teams in the NFC. You look at the Falcons, you look at the Buccaneers, of course, the Cowboys, the Eagles, and all the different many teams that's there. We're going to see some great battles. Some great battles will come down to the wire like that. I think this season is going to be very exciting and very intriguing. And it's going to be very um, surprising as well like that. Last year, we seen the Lions. The Lions go out there and make it all the way to the NFC Championship and win a division. I, like I mentioned before, um, months ago, when I found it, the early um, like predictions for like the division wins, I predicted the Lions will be the winner of their division again and will have the number one seed in the NFC. I feel like the Lions team very young, very structured, and last year they got, they, they were so close to getting there. Like that. I was rooting for them because I wanted to see a team other than, you know, the 49ers, uh, you know, they, they, they go a lot of times, you know, um, 49ers like that. Um, of course, the Chiefs, seeing them win again, like, uh, I want to see the Chiefs win again. The Ravens was playing too. I don't want to see the Ravens win either. So I was like, the Lions is my was my pick. My Steelers is already at the playoffs. So the Lions were out there, got a big lead, and they fell short. The 49ers, I feel like this season, um, adding that that um, secondary pieces, you know, Carlton Davis, adding Terry on Arnold, adding those different pieces in the secondary to help that secondary out. It's going to be very good for the team because their pass rush and their, their, their guys up front is already good, and the offense is amazing, of course. So I feel like they have a top 10 offense and top 10 defense. Um, so we're going to see them shine. Of course, the 49ers are going to be back in the contention as well. It might be a rematch of the NC Championship this um, coming season as well because the 49ers always find themselves, at least for the past four years, They've been in the NFC Championship game. They got the Super Bowl, fell short, and other times they kind of fell short in the NFC Championship. But uh, we're going to see if the 49ers can get over the hump as well. So, yes, a lot of things going on. A lot of things happening. Texans, is, I missed before. Excuse me. I missed before. I, think, I believe they have the they had the best offseason. You look at all the acquisitions they brought in. You look at what they did with Joe Mixon, bringing him in, Daniel and Hunter, and then also going up against Stephon Diggs when you already had Tank Bell and Nico Collins, who was playing very good football. And Mechie is still there too. I feel like Mechie might get traded eventually uh, to a different team. I know he had the leukemia, he battled leukemia, beat leukemia, so he kind of kind of got off track a little bit with his um, start of his career. But I feel like he's very talented. I feel like some team might look at that and may trade for him and start shining again. But hopefully he does get some opportunity as well. But the Texans got a stack of roster. You have two great running backs. You have two good running backs. You have a lot of amazing uh, receivers and stuff. Good defense as well. A defensive-minded coach, Amigo Ryan, is a great leader as well. A good quarterback as well, too. So they're going to be shining um, very well this season. I have just some more stuff. Of course, the suspensions. You know, you see the X-49ers um, player, Tayshawn Gibson, suspended six games for PDs. Um, I believe, I don't, what, what team is he playing for? They say X like that. But he's a free agent right now, so if a team is looking to sign him, you know, he's a little older, of course, you know, he's a veteran player, um, but he's still a solid player. But if the team looking to sign him, they have to wait because he's suspended for the first six games for PEDs. Rasheed Rice is another topic that's going on, too, as well. Uh, he's been, his name been going around circulating about suspensions because, you know, things that happened off field. Remember the racing? He was here in Dallas doing that little racing and crashing and injuring people, the lawsuits that happened and stuff. So, he could be facing suspension as well. Most likely, probably suspension, maybe, i say maybe four games, maybe four, three, four games like that. It might be a little more, um, depending on what happens and stuff. Um, Rasheed Rice had a good rookie season as well, but you know, you gotta be good on the field and off the field like that. Look at Tonya Brown, one of the amazing players. You know, I'm a Stiller fan, been a Stiller fan for a long time, like 2007, I was looking as a child. And Tonya Brown, you know, seeing him play when he got to the Steelers with 2000, what? I think 10 or 11, 2011 ish. Ryan right Ramsey got to the Steelers, did the big time play, and the middle of the playoffs, catching the ball inside of his shoulder and, and stuff on his helmet. And then, you know, he made some big plays. You know, he had like six straight thousand yards seasons with 100 plus receptions. And then he went off the rails. He started going crazy, 
Steelers traded him for like a, I think a fourth round pick, a fourth, fifth round pick or something like that. Then they traded, then the Raiders released them, and then the Patriots signed them, and the Patriots released them, and the Buccaneers signed them, and then the Buccaneers released them. It's just like, if everywhere you go and there's a problem, maybe you're the problem. And AB was the problem, you know, he's an amazing player. I think he might have messed his Hall of Fame chances up too, because he could have been in the Hall of Fame. He was very good. I feel like if he never left the Steelers when all that controversy, he might have a chance to be um pushing up like for top five and receiving yards all time because he had but he had i think twelve thousand right now twelve thousand thirteen thousand right around that range um could have had probably maybe 14 15k if he stayed with the steelers stay with the structure or organization maybe more i think he was playing some very good football but decided to go off the rails and mess with stuff up so hopefully rasheed rice you know um learn from these mistakes and stop um doing some crazy stuff off the field just hey just be normal like that just racing and all this crazy stuff that's happening like that Let's go out there, be normal. This is it's your first year. You won a Super Bowl your first year, being on a part of a championship team in the Chiefs. They trusted you to be their number one receiver and to go out there and got to show it. So we're going to see what happens with him. Um, also, of course, um, let's dive into some other things, which is probably the main topic of this video. There's a lot of teams who are looking to bounce back, you know, from what they did in 2023. It's a lot of teams like that, you know. Of course, everybody want to bounce back. You look at the teams, everybody want to try to win the Super Bowl. If you don't win the Super Bowl, you want to bounce back, of course. But to our teams who was like had a lot of hype, you know, a lot of hype in 2023, like that, but didn't live up to the hype. And starting off with one of the teams, of course, you guys know, is the Chargers. Chargers are the team that had a lot of hype. You know, um, remember the year four, they made the playoffs, but remember they got jacked up uh, in the playoffs a little bit because remember they started off, they were like 28 to zero, and then they blew the lead. Blew the lead, blew a 28 point lead in the playoffs, had four touchdown lead, was dominating. I think something Samuel Jr. had like three interceptions, three or four interceptions that game was going crazy. And y'all blew a lead, blew a lead, and they won the game. I remember I was watching that game. I was watching, um, I thought I was watching it uh, like, I think like in the living room. I was watching it in the living room, and I was watching it like that because usually playoff, most time playoff games, I do videos on and stuff, but I think that was the year. That wasn't last year, it was the year before last. I wasn't really doing the videos on the playoff things like I've been doing now. And I was watching the game, I was like seeing it, I kind of fell asleep a little bit, like, you know, later in the night. I fell asleep, I woke back up, and I seen the um, score tie. I'm like, what's going on? Like that. And then, you know, the Jaguars went out there and won it. So, Chargers had a lot of hype. Um, people were like, okay, maybe, you know, they, they, they blew the lead right there, but they still have an uh, opportunity. At least they got to the playoffs, they had an opportunity. We're going to see what they do this following year to bounce back. And this year, the injuries of Justin Herbert and all the things that's happened. Austin Eckler wasn't the same. He's gone now. He's in Washington now. Kenny Allen, got tra he's trading out to the Bears. But, you know, like, they had all those guys, like Mike Williams and stuff, getting injured throughout the season. They lost a lot of games and stuff. And Staley was horrible. He was horrible like that. And as you guys know, he's a good guru of like calling plays and designing plays, but he has no structure over the team. The team did not like buy into him or like try to buy into follow him like that to be, go out there and play for him. So he kind of messed everything up and you know, they went out there and put their face. But I feel like this season, they are a team that needs to live to the hype. You know, having John Harbaugh here, adding the pieces they added defensively, uh, we should see a better team you know, um, especially offensively, the offensive line is going to look way better, too. So we should see a better team this coming season to go out there and compete. Another team, too, is the Eagles. Remember, the Eagles started off real hot. It was, what, I think 10-0? They like 10 0, 11 0, like to start the season off. But they kind of, some of the games, are, you start seeing the wear and tear get up on them. Remember, they lost to the Jets. They lost um, to. They lost to the Jets, lost to the Cowboys, start losing. They lost to the Giants. That's how, that's how I knew it was b down bad then. When they lost to the Giants, I'm like, man, lost to the Giants? You know, no one lost to the Giants, really. They lost to the Giants. Um, that's when they had Tri Taylor in that thing, too, as well. Giants defeated them, and then they kind of went out here, and they lost. They won a losing streak, ended their playoffs with a losing streak. I thought they had maybe have a chance to maybe a little glimpse of hope, maybe against the Buccaneers, but they just couldn't get anything done. They looked sluggish, they looked injured, they looked beat up, they looked broken down. Um, the Eagles wasn't flying too high. It was more like die, Eagles die. I thought to a road to misery because they was down getting jacked up. But I think Jalen Hurts being the amazing player he is, I know he had a little decline last year because the injuries and the wear and tear of doing that goddamn touch push over and over too. So they might have to limit some of the things they do um, with some of those plays. But I think Jalen Hurts will bounce back, you know, having A.J. Brown, having Devontae Smith, having all these guys with them, bounce back this season to get the Eagles back up there to being a Super Bowl contender. Because the year before last, they was in the Super Bowl. But this past year, they had a, they had a good record, you know, but when you look at the, what kind of how they got that record, it's a little crazy because they started off real hot, kind of like my Steelers did um, back in 2020. We started off real hot. We, we lost to the Washington, then we lost to the Bengals, then we lost to the Bills, and then we, we um, barely beat the Colts. And then the last game, we benched our starters and lost to the Browns, and then we went to the playoffs and lost to the Browns. The Eagles had something similar. Start off very high. They were like 11-0. Then they started losing all these games. The games started stacking up. We lost to the Cowboys, lost to the Giants, lost to the Jets. All these different games started stacking up on them. And then 
You look at um in the 49ers game too, they only lost to the 49ers. I know um, got jacked up in that one. Debo Samuel was just cooking them. And then they got to the playoffs and they were not the same team like that. It came going to the playoffs injured, and you can most times you're gonna lose lose, especially if you're going to the playoffs losing too and a losing streak. So the Eagles, um, you know, uh, have an opportunity to bounce back. They have a nice roster, so we're gonna see what happens. Now, the other team that's on here too as well is the Jaguars. Jaguars start off hot, like I mentioned many times before my channel. They either start off hot and end bad, or they start off bad and end hot. The, um, Trevor Lawrence got paid some big time money. He's one of the top um, players. You no, know, it's crazy because the top eight quarterbacks who are the highest paid don't have any Super Bowls. Now, a few of them have MVPs, and a few of them been to Super Bowl. You know, Jared Goff been to the Super Bowl before. Uh, I think he's going to win one. He's been to two, uh, one, he's been to one Super Bowl before, a few, uh, a few championship games before. You know, Lamar Jackson went to the Eastern Championship game, went to two-time MVP, so bro went to the Super Bowl. But some of the other guys that was there, like Trevor Lawrence being one of the guys who was on highest page, Sean Watson and stuff, those guys have never been to the Super Bowl, never won MVP, never been to All-Pro either. Now, Trevor Lawrence, uh, he has talent. We know he has the idea of quarterback, being 6'5", 6'6", strong arm, accurate, mobile as well. But he hasn't shown us that he's a top-10 quarterback um, really too much. Now, we've seen, like, like in bursts, like, we've seen, like, little things here and there, like last year at the beginning of the season. And then the year before last, we've seen the end of the season. And people had like that was people had a lot of hype. They said, okay, y'all um, went, y'all came back from that big playoff deficit and won. Then y'all went to play the Chiefs, and y'all almost beat the Chiefs. And it came down to the wire. I like, think so we like people people was thinking like, okay, maybe the, the Jaguars might have something. And this season, you know, they, they started off real hot and stuff. And they remember that Bills game. Uh, that Bills game was a crazy game. That's the game that kind of like turned the trajectory a little bit. And then they start losing games, start losing more games, and losing more games. And then remember at the end, they kind of got a little riddled, injury riddled a little bit. We've seen, um, and even, even when it was injured, the backup quarterback for the Jags was playing pretty solid football. Like they had enough for them to win, but they just couldn't find a way to win. The defense was not the same. And you know, the offense was out there turning the ball over uh, a lot of different things that was happening, a lot of mishaps. They remember that last game, they had to win to get in. It's the Titans, and Derrick Henry just cooked them. And Trevor Lawrence, you know, was not playing too good as well like that. His numbers are not really too spectacular either. So I think Trevor Lawrence has something to prove this year. And of course, the Jaguars themselves as a team got something to prove this year, kind of bounce back to like live up to the hype because they didn't live up to the hype in 2023 and people thought they were going to be. So we're going to see. Um, they have the Bengals on this list as well, but the Bengals, I feel like if Joe Burrow just stay healthy, okay, even, when, even though last year they had finished 9-7. They finished and seven. No, uh, they had 9-7 last year. It was nine and seven, no, not 9-7, 9-8. Finished 9-8 last year, um, even with you know the injuries like that. So it's like they finished 9-8 last year. With the injuries, Jake Brown was in most of the time, and he played pretty solidly. Uh, Joe Burrow just stay healthy; they just they be good. And then the Jets, of course, the Jets is a team that you know Aaron Rodgers. We had all these things happening, and then go out to the first play and turn ACL. So um, Achilles, like ACL, where it is, um, when I think I injured. So hopefully, if, the, if Aaron Rodgers can stay healthy, we see the Jets all that hype that they had coming to the season. Like people are like, oh, they got Aaron Rodgers; they're gonna be a Super Bowl bound team with this defense. You got the William. Um, brothers, you know, um, and you also got, of course, you know, a Sauce Gardner, you got Reed on the other side as well. You have Gary Wilson, you got Al, 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 what's his name, Alan Lazard. Now you got, well, now they got Mike Williams too, as well. Like that, but at first, remember, like they didn't have Mike Williams at first, but you know, that got him now. But it's like they had all that hype going in. People were like, okay, okay, the offensive of line a little shaky, but I think Aaron Rodgers plays down the ability can overcome that. And we got injured, and then even without without Aaron Rodgers, you'd be like, okay, maybe they can go out there and maybe muster themselves. Maybe to the playoffs a little bit with Zach Wilson, not the best quarterback, but he can go out there and play solidly. But it wasn't enough. The defense was playing good, but the offense was just not enough. Um, Daniel Hatcher got a lot of pull, uh, a lot, lot to prove as well too, because he's been not that good. You know, as the head coach for the Broncos, wasn't that good. And um, now as the Jets offensive coordinator, wasn't that good either. I, I believe he's still there, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a lot of people got a lot of stuff to prove with the Jets. Um, Robert Salah, uh, Salah as well, that's a lot to prove. Of course, he's a good coach defensively, but as a head coach, he hasn't really done anything too much. You know, um, he had some glimpse of things happening here and there, but he probably, I don't know if you're on the hot seat or not, but he got some stuff to prove too. So we're going to see exactly, because, you know, usually they give you about, you know, three three years to kind of go out there and see what's going to happen. I think it's about, I'll be year four for him. So they're going to see, like, okay, your quarterback was injured. We're going to give you another chance. If Aaron Rodgers played a full season with this defense you have and these guys you have on offense, can you go out there and help us get to the playoffs and win a playoff game? So we're going to see what happens with the Jets. But those some of the teams I have on the list, like for teams that's, of course, you know, only the bounce back from the hype. Of course, the Bills might be a team that's probably can fall on that list as well. The Bills do it. They won a division and stuff after the playoffs, but it's the same story every time, losing to the Chiefs. So we're going to see if they can overcome that hump. Um, of course, Stephon Diggs left. Um, Gabriel Davis left as well. So now they got um, Keon Coleman. So we're going to see if he 
um, can merge to be that number one guy for them as well. He's bigger than Stephon Diggs and faster than Gabe Davis. So we're going to see if he can go out there and be a mixture of both of those guys. So that's all I got for the video today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll probably see you guys later today on another video, which will be basketball most likely. Basketball news, but NBA free, free agency and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to the game too as well. Um, of course, I told you guys, every time the Mercury come here to Dallas, I always go to the game. So I'm going to be at the game too as well. Might get a little footage of that. Put that on the on video as well. But just be on the lookout for it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Now, is this going to be a pop type music or a street music?